when it came to Kevin Feige's personal picks that he was looking at as the future of the MCU to replace Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man as sort of the poster boy slash poster girl of the MCU, Feige had his own four picks. DC Comics has the trinity. When it comes to cartoons, comics, and live action, and pretty much everything, it's these three characters that dominate everything all year long. Batman, Batman, and Batman. When it comes to Marvel, they have Spider-Man, Wolverine, and the Hulk. And when it comes to the MCU, it was Iron Man, Thor, and Captain America. So naturally, those were going to be replaced. There was already a Thor replacement on the way. There was already a Captain America replacement on the way. That's literally just a character taking on the mantle. But what of Iron Man? Well, internally, they were looking at multiple picks. Marvel Studios' Kevin Feige was looking at four specific actors. The first one being Benedict Cumberbatch, a.k.a. Doctor Strange. He was the one that they were looking at because his film was kicking off a whole new mystical side of things, and they knew that he would be important going forward. Next was Paul Rudd's Ant-Man, but this one seems to be, no pun intended, the one that's the smallest and least likely chance to get this push. And this isn't really that surprising. Ant-Man, he's never going to be a billion-dollar film that comes out, but half a billion, yeah, right around there. So I could see why he wasn't bumped up. The next one is Brie Larson's Captain Marvel. They realized, hey, we need female representation, and Captain Marvel is one of our most famous characters in the comics, along with her, obviously, having a film that's going to come out that we think is going to do good. It did do good, and then we'll see what happens next. So Brie Larson's Captain Marvel was right there on top of the list, but topping off the list was, sadly, Chadwick Bosman's T'Challa. And once he passed, they kind of, uh looked at this whole thing and said, well, that's not going to work because we no longer have T'Challa. So essentially, uh, most of their picks kind of went in a different way, if you will, or at least Kevin Feige's picks because of changing circumstances and situation. And according to the most recent books that came out in relation to the timeline and, of course, all the goings on in Marvel Studios, it's very much kind of hinted at the fact that they were looking at T'Challa being sort of like the central tech character slash new Iron Man that can really carry and stand in the center of the brand. But obviously, um, that can't be the course anymore. And from what we learn now is that they're still kind of trying to find one because all the varying degrees of projects and statuses and box office have thrown a wrench into it. So... It'll be interesting to see just who ends up being on top. My guess is probably Captain America. Like, you know, Captain America, Spider-Man, and maybe Deadpool eventually. Unless Hugh Jackman does stay as Wolverine, then automatically he's getting prompted up there. But it's a difficult time for sure with so many uh, changing factors over the last couple of years.